There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. 
I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end. Including mine. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. Wonkers watches over me, night and day. He may be just a toy bot, but there's something comforting about that. Faithful old Wonkers. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. Wonder if anyone even asks themselves whether I'm allergic to flowers. There's just no consideration for the comatose. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Reza visits a lot, talks to me for hours. It's good. It's good, like we're reconnecting. But then sometimes, I don't know why, it's like he's a stranger. Like someone's wearing his skin. Oh, that's, oh, that's weird and sick and probably all in my head. Still, I have this vivid memory of the first time he came by and what popped into my head was, that's not Reza. I don't know. It was probably because I thought I'd lost him. I'd spent weeks looking for him. It's how I ended up here, sort of. Maybe seeing him just triggered a lot of feelings. Sometimes when Reza talks to me, he says he wants to try again. With us. If I wake up, I want to give it a shot. I wasn't totally fair to him the first time around. Reza and me, in Cape Town, a lifetime ago. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there, or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. It's odd. Like looking into a mirror and seeing a stranger. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm, 
Happy thoughts. The little engine that could keeps my brain ticking when the rest of me doesn't. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line, take a skateboard to that line, you, you build up a lot of speed. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day, keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day, keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Story time feels more real to me now than the waking world does. There's no end to it. It goes on like this forever. Mountains, valleys, endless plains. A sky full of stars, never changing. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. They've been using the dream machine too much, and now they can't get out. I can free them, but there are more of them every day. I can't keep up any longer. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Why won't you help me? What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up! Please! I said stop! I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Please, help me. Oh, for fuck's sake, people, go away! Why won't you help me? She's all alone. I know that feeling. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. Save me! Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. You can't leave! There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Oh, don't go. Don't leave me. Ugh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see it. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. Please, don't go. Help me. Don't leave me. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... What? It's a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. 
There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go away. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. It had to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cthul. Cthul, who? <gasps> the horror! Yeah, you're going bonkers. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Hmm. Batteries will need replacing soon, but no, nothing in there. Bingo. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness, through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty... Torch. Torch. Flashlight. Beacon. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. 
It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. The Vagabond, master of the story time. Sort of. He's a hard man to get hold of, the Vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. The Vagabond, finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. For, for better or worse, this is my home now person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I have nothing out there, and I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so... There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. This, what difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know. I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This 
bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember, and then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end, but it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. Beautiful, but also so desolate and cold, like a fairy tale of the dead. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe giving me hot flashes. I'm in a coma, I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... no, bad. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal, don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up, possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD.
Okay, so magic machine is working overtime, pumping a scary amount of drugs into my system. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at, being dead. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? Who are you? You don't remember who you are. Or who you were before you started playing hero, dreamer, savior of worlds. Everything about you is a lie. I'm the fucking truth. You can't escape that. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up my mind. I'm not letting her stand in my way. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. She's right. I can't leave. I have nothing to return to. No life worth living. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. It's not all gone. There's a chance to take back what was lost, to do it again and do it better. So it's not perfect. I know how to appreciate what's there now. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. We, we can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? That's life, full of surprises. I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was, who I am, who I will be. And, and who is that? I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith, but it's time to find my way back. I'm ready for a change. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive.